Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Uh, what I wanted to go through today uh, is NAV 2017, uh, and in particular, the new feature uh, called Attributes. Um, so basically, with the new version, we have something called attributes that are attached to the item card. So if I go into items right here and uh, take a look at, for example, the bicycle, I can see that right here I have something called item attributes and that the color of this bicycle is red. Um, so how is this useful? Well, we're in the coffee mug business and we do have colors of our coffee mugs. So what I'm going to do is create two coffee mugs uh, with two different colors and show you how to assign them and actually filter on those and how they apply. So if I go here into new and it actually goes into a template for a new item, which is a new feature also for 2017. And I am getting a retail item, so I just say OK. Uh, and that's actually a great feature because it populates automatically things like the tax group code uh, and other things. So what I'm going to do is put in the description. So this is going to be a standard coffee mug and it's red. Now notice that it just put in an automatic number for my item. Uh, oftentimes people put into the item number the code red, that it's red, so it can be filtered on later. Uh, in this case we don't have to do that because we have attributes. So here the basic unit of measure. I am going to pick a piece and now I have to assign the attribute. Notice I don't have any yet. So I go here into attributes <laughs> and I look up what I have available. I have color and I have it as red. So if I'm, I'm just going to show you right now, if I go here and into advanced, I can create any attribute that I want. And um, if I create a new one, I give it a name. It could be of type option or text, uh, integer or decimal. So it could have various different inputs. Uh, as we can see, the uh, color has options, and these are the color, colors that have been defined. Uh, we're going to stick to that and not create a new one right now. Uh, just close this out. I have set it as color red. Close out. And now I can see that the attribute is in. I'm going to create a new one. So just close this. Again, new retail and I'm going to create the standard oops, coffee mug blue and it's going to be pieces and the attribute is going to be color again and it's going to be blue. There we go. Um, now I'm going to sh show you how this actually works as a filter. So I can go into my list again and say filter by attributes. I can go ahead and say color red. Hit OK. And let's see. I want to pick it because it is case sensitive. Uh, and now I see everything that's red. And you can see that my standard coffee mug red is here. If I want to see anything that's blue, I just do like that. And now I have blue things. And um, I can, of course, save this. Items blue. I sh have shown this in a different video. So if I go here, blue items, and the filter holds. So 
Now we've basically created, or NAV has added a feature that allows you to have multiple attributes, actually as many as you like, for an item, and you can filter on them and uh, basically work with them, um, you know, mostly for filtering purposes. On the costing side, uh, you still have to go with the item number, um, but the item number doesn't have to tell you whether it's red, blue, or or any other attribute. So it's a kind of cool new feature that NAV 2017 has introduced. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to inecta.com.